I don't remember what I ordered. I don't know. It's t I'm tired. It's Monday. I work from home and it's Monday and I'm tired. Why am I closing that? Okay, now I remember. Three? I guess it was a three pack. God, I hope it was a three pack. Yeah, so I have Fragili stickers. No pasta, didn't, I didn't steal that from you. I literally used to call it Fragili since before you called it Fragili. Maybe I taught her to call it Fragili. Anyway, I ship enough stuff that I'm like, you know what, maybe I should just buy the stickers. That's a Fragili handle with Kari. Well, they're nice. These are quality. Yes. Garbage. Anyway, also, so here's the thing. Let me just double check. Correct. That is the, what, 400 meters? Yeah. So, I went to BJ's where I buy my Scotch shipping tape. Like the heavy-duty Scotch shipping tape because I ship lots of, lots of fucking boxes up to get taped. And I always buy the tape there. And I think I've gone through in the last four years two eight packs of these and then I go there and then I buy this one and I come home and I'm like I pick it up I'm like what this doesn't feel very heavy something seems wrong about this I'll check when I get home because I have two rolls left in the original packaging and this is the original packaging it doesn't say heavy duty it's supposed to be heavy duty oh god well whatever the point is heavy duty they were both heavy duty 400 meters total 320 meters total. They took 80 meters out. 10 meters per roll out for the same price. $21. And this was like, I found this on Amazon for 20 bucks. I thought it was going to be heavy duty, but it's sure start. But I guess that's fine. So I bought three fucking packs of eight because they're all the right size. So if Scotch Tape is deciding to now go to these little baby rolls, which I'm returning this one, by the way. They decide to go back to these baby rolls to save money, just like orange juice is no longer 128 ounces, 109 ounces. Just make the price more. I wanna buy the same thing. Son of a bitch, bastard. So now I've got lots of tape, lots of tape, but not even bondage tape. At least that is multiple use. So that's, a, that's a slight angering thing, I hate when Okay, we're selling the same milk, but you know, we're just gonna sell like eight ounces less of it in this jug, and then you can pay the same amount for it. Ooh, 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 probes. And not the type that you get in trouble with. It's a two pack, because I fucked my temperature probe up on my meat thermometer, or my leave-in holder. Uh, I put it in the toaster oven, because I, I usually cook most things in the toaster oven. And it was sticking up out of a chicken breast, and then it slid, against the element on top and when the metal touched the thing it probably got to like i don't know 2000 degrees and literally said ah and it doesn't work anymore so now this should be a universal probe okay that's 111 115 118 what is how did it doesn't work remember when i said it should be a universal probe yeah i lied so apparently, these are specifically calibrated for a different thermometer. It shouldn't be though, why would that be a thing? Maybe one of them will work. 108, 109. Yep, completely not the ones I need. 113, 117. I guess that makes these more accurate. 126, wow, I'm hot. Okay, returning these to Amazon. Unless you guys need them. That sucks. That means I gotta buy another probe and hope that it's Polder compatible. Fuck. I guess it makes sense. Different resistances. Because the way it works is as it, as it heats up, the resistance changes and it knows what's happening. Uh, uh. Okay. That sucks. That sucks. Yes! My magnets are here. Oh, those are smaller than I thought. Oh, fuck. Why is everything just fucking up today? Where the hell does this tape start? I see where it ends. I don't see where it starts. There it is. Anyway, I bought magnets. I'm just gonna cut my fucking hand open. Just cut it open. Okay. 
I bought these magnets. I thought they were bigger. But uh, I could still stack them and get what I need done. My head... I put away my headphone recording rig. Oh, these are strong. Oof. My headphone recording rig is three separate pieces. It's a foam spacer in the middle and then two foam blocks with the microphones embedded in it. And I'm going to put these magnets in the foam spacer and then in the blocks. I'm going to glue them into the blocks. So that I can literally go boop, boop. And it'll act as one complete unit. Should have just bought two, two packs of these. I was trying to find half inch by half inch cylinders, but there's only like a four pack for like $20. I need basically 12 magnets. Half inch in the middle, half inch here, half inch here, half inch here. I want to do four points and they're going to, hopefully it won't be close enough to the uh, microphones to affect anything. So little baby magnets. Pasta's messaging me. This is interesting. I'm gonna be able, I could probably sell one of these or just break it. Just straight up, straight up break it. This is specifically for being a cell phone holder, but I'm gonna probably attach to this because I don't have to remove it. And I'm gonna have this in my bathroom. I should have had another piece delivered. Apparently that's not happening today. This is gonna sit right outside my shower. If I close my shower door, I'm gonna open my shower door and have this be right there with just my phone in it. This was the only thing that I could find that will just take my phone Hopefully, because this is actually rather thin, but it should take my phone and just boom. Yeah, look, perfect. Just hold my fucking phone. Just, just hold my phone. Just put my phone down. Doesn't need sides. Doesn't need fucking docking clips. Haha, <laughs> docking. Up there, chocolate shoe game. Oh my god. Stop touching your penis and pay attention to me. Hi, you're on an unboxing with Z. How you doing? I'll only play that first clip and not the second one. All right, good. We'll be right back. <laughs> you don't get that sort of entertainment anywhere else. Topping. I'm doing that $100 headphone shootout with the Gashelli Labs and the Magni 3 and the the uh, Liquid Spark and the JDS Labs Atom. And everyone's like, well, what about the Topping A20? What about it? And I'm just, oh, A30. My bad, A30. So here is the topping a30 what is this holy shit it's so heavy holy shit it's so heavy that's the same power brick of my own ac 14 volt times two that's massive it also stinks like like my childhood like 90s electronics oh god what the fuck anyway here she thumbs up. This is an A30 silver with an ugly little receipt in it. Or thing. Rubber feet or silicone feet. Do not particularly like the finish on this. The crazy power plug. Apparently we got a switch that says dual or auto. No idea what that is. Line out, left and right. Line in, left and right. Face has got two three-way switches. Off, low, and high. But then it has 0, 9, and 18. What? And then it has a 3.5 millimeter and a head for, and a quarter inch. I felt better knobs, but it's not bad. So what the fuck is low and 18, high and 18, high and 9, low and 0? What? The? Base boost? Can't be 18 decibels of base boost. That has to be the gain switch. I'm a bit confused. But it has a high-res audio sticker. So yeah, this this fucking look at this fucking. Oh, it says she says topping on it. I wouldn't even have to use my label maker on it. Oh, I might write A30. That is that is a lot of amp for like a hundred bucks or a little bit under a hundred bucks. We'll see how this thing performs. Uh, <laughs> the perfect voice clip. The perfect voice clip. Anyway, now my hands smell like mainland China. But like an industrial area, not the nice part where you get food. Put this away. I'm gonna unbox this in another boxing unboxing because I gotta yell at her.